Hi all, uh, today we are talking about Azure Selective Disk Backup. Uh, I guess it's something new for many of you, uh, so that we can exclude disks from the backup of VM. So today we will, uh, I will show you how to exclude disks, how to restore, backup and then restore, and then how to include again all the disks. So, we we'll start by this VM, we have the VM called VM2. It has uh, the following disks, operating system disk, <coughs> and, uh, and three other disks. So we are uh, making a backup, excluding uh, two disks, and then uh, moving, uh, moving along. So, <coughs> And we can see that the backup is there <coughs> with a standard policy and the restore point is like this. Also the backup includes all the disks. Now we try <coughs> to use the selective disk for uh, an already back, practically backed up uh, VM on Azure. If we go to selective backup, <coughs> we can see in the CLI modify protection for already backed up VMs with Azure CLI. We copy this. Here we put the resource group. It's called new. Recovery vault main. RSV VM2 to back up uh, VM sorry also here VM2 exclude we Exclude here the lines. We go to disks. <coughs> Let's say we want to exclude zero, disk zero, and disk two. We insert here then zero and two. So we put here zero, comma, two, and we close it. Okay, let's take this command and insert it into Azure CLI. And you'll see what will happen. We need to wait till we get the results. Okay, done. We go up here, and everything is fine. Okay, we go back. <clears throat> to the recovery vault to see what has changed. We can see here that the, what changed is this excluded disks, LAN 0 and 2. Now disks 0 and 2 are excluded from backup. Now we are going to take another backup to teach you how to restore and what is the difference from the normal backup okay now we are taking backup <coughs> for uh, 
disks, the operating system, and the disk and disk one. Uh, as you can see here, the job is completed, and as you can see here, also the excluded disks are zero and two, run zero and run two. So now what's different? If you want to restore the VM, you are not able to restore it as normal. You need to restore as disks only. <coughs> as you can see here, you cannot replace the VM. You are able only to restore the disks, and I will show you how to restore the disks. <coughs> Same resource group. You choose a storage account and restore. After we restore the disks, then we will be able to swap our OS disk and restore the VM. Now the restore operation will be will start. And when it's finished, I will go back. The restore process didn't take much time, it's like 1 minute and 20 seconds. Okay, we go to disks, we will see two new created disks. This one, data disk, and this one is our as disk. They resemble this one and this one. So, how to restore this in the VM? We go to the VM, VM2, and we go to disks. And here we can swap the restore disk. Okay, disk. This one, and here you put the name of the VM and OK. <coughs> OK, this will stop the VM and put the other disk and start the VM again. Stopping the last disk. Now, when you swap the OS disk, it changes the disk that is restored with the uh, OS disk. This is finished, and you can see here it's changed. And here for the data disk, this one, you can delete from here, save, and put again the other disk, like this. Create and attach a new disk. Sorry, add attaching at existing disk. And run one. Now we need to save first. Let's save it first. Okay, now in LAN 1, you can add this one, the data disk restore. This was the original one, and this is the new one. Okay, you can see here the time and <clears throat> the date. And now when you save, it's in LAN 1. And using this method, you, you restore the VM and the data disk. Okay. Okay, now what we are going to do is, again, we go to the backup and enable all the disks. So, <coughs> you connect again. Okay, now we need to enable back the disks to be all included. <coughs> now we have to exclude this and then we need to include all the disks. So, you need to run the command, this command, zero, comma, one, comma, two. This will enable all the risks. We 
wait a few seconds. And when you enable all the disks again, okay, now they are enabled. When you enable again the disks, you will be able to restore the VM as before, and not only disks. So we will again back up the VM. Now we need to refresh. We'll back up the, uh, the VM again. I need just to, uh, to share, to show you how to how the disks will be shown again. <coughs> now, as you can see, all the included disks as disk long zero, long one, and long two. Now we will make another backup job, and I'll show you that the VM can be restored totally as before. So we will get again this feature that you restore the VM as is, uh, replace and replace directly the VM. So we will get back when the backup job has finished. Okay, guys, the backup is finished now. Okay, we will restore. Now the backup is for all the all the disks, so <clears throat> we'll try to restore the uh, the whole VM and see if it is applicable as before. Restore. Place the store point is this one. Now we can see that you have the place existing. Let's see if it works or not. And you can see here, <coughs> in the restore uh, points, you can see which disks are, they have the backup. Now the restore will start. <coughs> Let's see again here. This was for two disks, I guess. Yes, for two disks. But this point is for the four disks. Okay, so as you can see here, when we choose for the two disks, you will not be able to replace. So, <clears throat> this is the backup and restore for the selected disks in the Azure Recovery Vault, or the Azure Backup. <clears throat> and the restore started. It usually gives an error in like one minute. Uh, it has a problem, so now it's being uh, it's being initiated successfully. <coughs> okay, that's it. Now it's updating the virtual machine, and the job is completed. <clears throat> I hope you uh, you benefit from this video, and uh, anything is wanted, please don't hesitate to, to contact or to uh, send a comment, and I will answer as fast as possible. Thank you all.